the family members had planned to have a fasting program, but unfortunately he suddenly passed away in his sleep early morning yesterday at around 7.30 a.m. Words are not enough for me to express our pain and sorrow, but we accept that God's plans are different from ours. There are many more things I want to share, but due to paucity of time, I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for coming here today to share our thoughts and lighten our burden at, at this time of grief. We will remain indebted to you. Though we cannot repay your love and support, we pray that Almighty God bless you all abundantly. In conclusion, I'll take this time to ask for forgiveness on his behalf if he has hurt anyone by his words or deeds. And I also request you to kindly let us know if there there are any unpaid debts owed by him before we bid our last goodbye. Thank you once again. And my daughter wants to be, wants to speak a source uh, source this. Chairperson, distinguished participants and speaker, with a heavy heart, I stand here today on behalf of eight family members to see a few words of our appreciation to the 
Kavla Bihari, Honorable Ministers, Speaker, Legislators, High Government Officials, and District Administration and Police for arranging this stick funeral for late in Diwaba. Since yesterday, different walks of life from Dimapur has immensely supported us to bring the Deep Party to Kohima. And again, from here, we will take the Deep Party to Kokokchung and lastly to the village for final period. We have been receiving materially, morally, and all sorts of support from different walks of life. We cannot return to each and every one of you, but we pray that the Almighty God will please all of you. Much has been said about in Dioba by different speaker. I will not repeat his life and achievement, but one thing what I meant to mention is he is not even 49 years old. It is a prime time of a human life. And his sudden damage has shocked the family members, but we hope that we will overcome this problem because life is life is we cannot give guarantee because one day all of us will face the same. The only question is when your turn is come. I also thanks to the NGOs and civil society for their contribution, support, and extending all more materials and prayer. And the last thing, last thing I thanks to all the well wishers for your support. And we are, we are also request you to bear for the family, family members, till the dead body is raised in peace. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have a host of our condolence message for remain. However, due to time constraint, I will be reading only two condolence messages by the Governor and the Senior. Professor Jagdish Mukhi, Governor of Nagam, Rajpuram, Kohima, January 7, 2023. Condolence message. I am deeply saddened to hear the demise of Dr. Intiwa Bangkari, MLA, 23 Ipu AC, and former Speaker of Nagam Legislative Assembly in Dimapur on 7th January 2023. Late Dr. Inti Wabong Ayur was an able and dynamic leader committed to the welfare and upliftment of the people. His demise is an irreparable loss to the people of the state. The contribution as a great leader and statesman in the service of the highest ideals will remain a legacy and an inspiration to many. I, on behalf of the people of Nagaland, and my own behalf, convey my heartfelt condolence to the bereaved family and pray that God bestow fortified fortitude to bear this tragic loss and grant solace at this hour of bereavement. Signed, Professor Jagdish Muki, Srimati Kehumbe Aya, Forest Colony, Kohima. Chief Minister, Nagaran Goima, 7th January 2023, condolence message. 
I'm deeply saddened to, le to learn about the sudden demise of Dr. Inti Wabam Ayo, MLA and former Speaker of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly today, the 7th January 2023 at Dimapur. Dr. Inti Wabam was a young, dynamic and promising public leader. In this past few years of working together, I found him to be someone who was always passionate about his work and executed his assignments diligently. He was a sincere and hardworking person. He had an excellent academic record as well and had gone on to obtain a PhD in geology. He was a jovial and a humble gentleman with a big heart who cared much for society, society's welfare. Indeed, he was an inspiration to many youngsters. His demise is a great loss to for the state in general and in poor constituency in particular. And in his absence, will be deeply felt by everyone. Though he's no longer in our midst, his good deeds will always shine and his memories will forever be ins inscribed in our hearts. I, on behalf of the government of Nagaland and on behalf of my family, extend our deepest condolences to the bereaved family members. Our prayers and sympathies goes out to the family members, relatives, friends of late Intiwagong, Ayer, as we mourn his demise. May the family find comfort and strength in the word of God as we come to terms with this loss. May the departed soul rest in eternal peace. Signed, Nipirio, Mrs. Gurumbi. Flowers are often said to signify hope and rebirth of soul. Now time will be given for the name of it. Let us all rise up and sing the hymn, How Great the Lord. Thank you. 
when Jesus was 14 years old, he lost his father. So in his ministry, only mother was after him. A runner from Sephoris brought this to this Nazareth home. The trusted news that Joseph had been seriously injured, Joseph and Jesus' father. By the falling of the tenant well at work on the governor's residence. A messenger from Sophie's first informed Jesus that his father accident and both of them, Jesus and his the forerunner messenger, went to tell Mary. And Jesus wanted to rush to see his father. But mother stopped him. Don't. You don't go. Because Mary and Joseph, we all know, were informed by the angel Gabriel, the birth of Jesus. They knew very well. So they have to keep this uh, very much confidence and secret. So Jesus took, or Mary took, his brother James, immediate brother James, he took, and she went to see the injured husband. But before she reached, Joseph already died of the injuries. That body was brought home to Nazareth. Like today we have faced this situation. Morning crying happened in that Nazareth home. Jesus, we all know Jesus is the Son of God, or was the Son of God. But we also know that Jesus is 100% divine and 100% human. So as a human, he experienced all this situation. He went ahead of us, experiencing, Peter experiencing, death of his father and death of his brother Amos. It will take time, so I will not continue. So Jesus, when the father dead body was brought home, they were all mourning, crying. James, immediate brother of Jesus, was James. Next to James is Mariam. Next to Mariam is Joseph, like his father. Next to Joseph is Simon. Next to Simon is Martha. Next to Martha is Jude. Next to Jude is Ruth. Amos was born of the water. So, all these family members experienced the loss of the father. This is what we are experiencing today. This family, our beloved Dr. Indi Wapang family, you are also experiencing. Many family have gone ahead of you like this, and many family will follow in the same way that you are experiencing today. Don't worry. Let me read the scripture. Jesus said to her, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? This is the word of Jesus from the Bible. John chapter 11, verses 24, 25 and 26. Today is, uh, last night I mentioned all this thing. Today this period is a uh, worldwide evangelism. So many churches are sending missionaries to different countries. Next to this worldwide evangelism is the red chair. Cheers to return to us. We don't know when will it come, it happen. But not very late, it will, it will not be. 
through that. When he returned, he will return in the air with thousands of angels. And the dead in Christ shall rest on the day. Who are alive will also be caught up with him. And it will be a day when we will all unite together. This is what we are expecting. We are not worshipping to an unknown God. Last night also I said. We are not worshipping to an unknown God. Our God we know very well. People worship to the God who ear cannot hear, eyes cannot see, mouth cannot speak. But our God is not like this. He gave and He took away. So let us thank God. For all this, what has happened to us today, shall we look to God and pray? Eternal God, our loving Heavenly Father, we are here this evening to send out mother remain of Dr. Inti Wabang to Sangaji. Father, Father God, you know the situation that Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dimapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hon